Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I saw so many girls making wish videos on prom dresses and wedding dresses and other stuff and it's a very like 50-50 like chance with uh, wish stuff like it's either amazing or it's horrendous but the prices of everything is like dirt cheap so I was like I'm going to give this a go and give my input on it and um, so I got four prom dresses all of which like on the picture they are 100% something I would wear and um, so I'll show you them all, show you the prices and you can see for yourself what you think. And um, so I haven't tried any of them on, they're all in their packaging. Sorry, I keep looking at them, but I realize you can't see them all. Here they are. Um, so we'll open them together and try them on. So the first dress I'm going to show for you guys is this fashion sexy women's party dresses, women's prom ball cocktail, long dress, slim maxi formal evening gown, evening dress. That is one mouthful. Um, so I got the blue one here. Sorry, there's like a glare from my window if I like turn it too much. So it looks like this. So also I got a brand new phone, guys. I got the Huawei P20 Pro, which has a crazy camera. It's got like this triple thing going on here. Um, so I might do a review on that at some point once I get used to it. It like arrived yesterday, so I'm still like, what is this device? But we will see. So this dress is six pounds. Um, currently sold out, unfortunately, but I'll find a similar one. So I paid six pounds for it, and it just looks, it just looks nice. Like the man, the girl here like let me swipe along like, they have so many photos of it so I was like it's gonna be nice like they cannot fool me with so many photos surely but um so that's that and then this is what it looks like and um, so I got it in a size small which I'm hoping will fix I read like the material like what it's made of and it was like this is an extremely stretchy dress which goes well with Emma so um it's like, yeah, it's an extremely stretchy dress. I mean, it feels quite nice. It's that sort of material that, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a lot of pretty little things, dresses are made out of it. It's like a really stretchy sort of, very flattering on the bum sort of material, if that makes sense. But um, I'll go pop it on. It's sort of like a sweetheart neckline, which is cute. So I do like it. And it's got like darting and then a slit. It's actually a dress I would wear if it fits right. So hopefully it hugs my waist and looks nice. I will, I'm actually like, Kind of excited for this one, it feels like it will work. So let's pop it on. So I'm actually really loving the fit, the neckline of it is perfect, it's a proper little sweetheart neckline. Only thing is, is with it being like on your arms a bit, it like folds over. But um, to be honest, you could turn it into a strapless very easily, the actual material, it like fits how it's meant to, I really, really, I'm loving it. So the dress itself, it's, the midsection's a little bit sort of, um, it's not really baggy, I just don't like the stitching here, it doesn't do it for me. But um, the actual dress, for what, six pounds, I have got myself a ball dress. I would probably stitch up the slit just a tiny bit because, in my opinion, that's a little bit dangerous. But the actual dress, I actually think, fits perfectly. And they do it in so many other colours, so, like, it's a very versatile dress. But, um... No, I'm very chuffed with this one. I really, really like it. Um, I'll show you it without the straps on so you guys can see how I make it into a strapless, if that's more of your sort of style. But I actually think this has, like, <laughs> this has gone well. So the only thing I might do is wear a belt with it just to, like, draw the attention to my waist more. But um, for £6, I could wear this dress and I don't think anyone would notice. So very happy with this one. So all I've done is I've just slipped the straps off, off like they're still there, but if you stu uh, stitch them along, like no one would know you turned it into a strapless, and then you have a floor length strapless dress for six pounds. <laughs> like, can you go wrong with that? <laughs> I really like the color as well. I think it's lovely. I would just stitch up the slit a little bit, but to be honest, it's very much on my leg. Like you get some slits that like to creep into the crotch area. This one, it's very much to the outside of my leg, but I just think for like a classy ball, which is where these dresses are advertised for, like prom or something like that, um, I'd probably stitch it up a bit, but no, I really like the neckline of it, it fits so nice, so 10 out of 10. So the next dress I bought is this high neck two piece gown, um, I got it in this grey colour on the left here, this one here, um, and it, it <laughs> They've literally used the photo off the Sherry Hill website, which is like a dress company. And um, so I was like, hmm, like, you, it literally says Sherry Hill right there. Like, they haven't even, <laughs> oh, what, what is Wish like? But the other colours were nice, but they look amazing on the model, so I was like, I'll try this. Um, and this was £11, but if you buy, Wish does this thing, like, when you buy it with someone, it's, like, cheaper, so it was only £9. Um, so this is what it looks like. And the first thing I notice is that 
this glittery thing, which I'm guessing is the top, isn't embellished at all. So on the photo they stole from the Sherry Hill website, it was like this lovely like embellished top. But I guess you get what you pay for, like, we'll see. Um, so this is what it's like. So we've got two bits here. So this is the top, which actually, even though it's not what it's meant to be, it's kind of cute. Like it's got a peephole cut out the top, just like the one does. It's just obviously not the correct fabric as promised, but it's still sparkly and cute. So I don't mind it too much. It just doesn't match the photo. And then the skirt has a matching waistband, but the waist looks big. Like, but I guess if I put it on my hips, it'll be all right. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's got pockets. Like pockets in the dress, that's quite cool. Um, so, and then it's got like a slit. Yeah, it's got a slit down the front. So we'll see what this looks like on. I mean, I think it might look quite nice on. It's just quite different to what the picture showed, but I guess they were showing that picture to like relate it to it. I'm sure if I read deeply into the description, it would tell me not uh, like the photo or something like that. So this is what it fits like, and I mean, to be honest, the top I actually love. I prefer it not being sequiny. It's actually a really nice material, and I can wear this as a top with jeans, clubbing, or a skirt, and I really love the back of it. I think it's so cute. I just, yeah, love this top. Uh, the skirt's a little bit on the big side, um, being this is their, well, this is their size small. I don't know if they go any smaller. I'll find out. So it goes, they have a 4X small. And then it goes to small, medium, large. Like, what does that mean, a 4X small? Maybe that could be another video. The weird sizing on Wish. But the skirt is quite cute. It's a very, like, shiny material. It does have a slit, though, that is... It sort of crosses over to your leg, but it can, like, scooch wherever. It has pockets. It's not going to slip down me. Like, my hips are well and truly, like, holding it up. It's sort of like... To be honest, if you wanted, like, a two-piece dress and you wanted people to know it was a two-piece, this is perfect for it. Um, I do, I, I, it's growing on me. I actually weirdly like it. So the skirt is way too long currently for me um, because it's like round my hips. I would need to shorten it, which wouldn't be too hard. You just need a sewing machine preferably. Um, but to be honest, to make it like fit my waist, yeah, I'd need to take a fair bit in, but it wouldn't be too hard to put a dart down the back. Um, and then I have the two piece like it looked like on the model. But um, I actually, I love the top, it's, it's really nice, like the amount I paid for this two piece, just getting the top out of it makes it worth my while. Um, so I, I'm liking it and the skirt is definitely a statement, like I could, again, I could happily wear this to an event and I don't think people would look at me like, oh my god she's wearing such a cheap dress, like <laughs> I don't think it looks cheap, so I do like this one, but uh, let me know what you think. The only thing I would say is the top's material in certain lights can appear quite see-through, so I would just, like, I wouldn't be comfortable wearing absolutely nothing, nothing underneath. I'd want to wear either a strapless bra like I am now, or, like, covers or something like that, but I really love the top. I actually, I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this top. I think it'll look so cute with jeans, or, like, a high-waisted skirt. Love it. So the next two I'm going to show you, the first one, they're both very sequiny because I'm a bit of a sequin ho when it comes to dresses. Um, so they just look like this, so if you look at it like, it looks very hourglass on her, very tight to like the figure, so I'm excited about that. Um, probably not going to be very stretchy because it's sequin, so we'll see if it fits. But um, this is advertised for £13 currently, but again if you buy it with someone it's cheaper. And um, in the bag, I mean, it is a bag of sequins basically, so... I mean, it doesn't look too different to the photo currently. I mean, the one in the photo just looks amazing, but they want the photo too, don't they? So this is what it looks like. So at the moment, it's just like a sheet of um, sequined fabric, which I can work with. And then what have we got going on here? So it's mermaid cut, just like the photo showed. Um, nice bodice. And then the only thing I'm worried about is it, I think it's quite see-through. I don't know. We'll see. Well, it probably will only be see-through in certain lights, so it should be alright. But um, that's the front, and then the back of it looks like this. So it's like backless to the bottom. I actually think that looks really nice, so I'll go pop this on, but I'm, I'm excited about this one. It looks long, but it looks nice. 
I'm excited to try it. And to be honest, if it's too long, this material doesn't fray. You can see how they've just sliced it. So you can just cut it to fit the length of you. So I'm very, um, I'm actually quite impressed by this one. Well, for this one, wow is all I have to say. Um, it fits absolutely perfectly. There is, I have no fault for this dress. Like the actual, it's got a zip here, um, so I can get it on and off easily. Um, the sequins aren't sharp through it, but I might have something different to say if I wore it for a whole evening. They are the scratchy kind, so <laughs> you gotta weigh it up. Um, but the back of it is stunning. Sorry, I was wearing a bra, so I have the lines. But um, it's got like the low back going on here and just the simple crisscross, which is gorgeous. And then it sort of has like, so it's more meshy towards the bottom of the dress. So you sort of have like a mini dress underneath a mesh sequin dress, if that makes sense. So it's a mermaid cut. The front of it is shorter than the back of it. So I actually have like a complete trail behind me, which is like stunning. Um, yeah, I just can't go over this dress like <laughs> what <laughs> these dresses are so cheap on wish and they actually fit like this I'm just I'm actually in love with this but I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna make the dress the same length all the way around the bottom because at the moment my heels are catching the bottom of the trail I mean it is only mesh so I'm worried I'm gonna like rip it but it might be all right I think I just need to learn to walking it and walk like with, with like a pace so it like flows behind me in the wind <laughs> um, but I love it, I love the neckline um, it just fits it's just absolutely stunning like look at it the like, back of it oh this is definitely my favourite I'm generally like I would go to a Christmas ball wearing this like this is a statement dress for an extremely on a budget price Look at it! Oh, I love it! So the last one I got is this one. I'm trying to not get the glare on it, I haven't really thought this through. Which is just this like really nice sort of, it's less sequiny than the one I just showed you. But it's got like sequin flowers in it and it's lovely and backless like that one. Um, so I'm excited for this one. Mermaid cut as well. So technically I didn't need both of these ones but they're a style that I like always wanted to try. So I was like just drawn to them when I was shopping for them. But which has so many prom dresses, it is nuts. Um, so it's a oh, it's a really nice sort of grey movie colour. Hmm. So it looks like this. Just got like netting over the top with the sequins and then the colour underneath. Um, it, it's a bit shorter this one, but still long enough for me. Backless. The only thing I would say, I don't like how they've darted it because um, it obviously makes whiter lines because they're doubling up the netting. But I can sort that out. You just undo it and cut off the excess net and um, so you crisscross the back so it comes with the long straps and you can either have a halter I guess or it's got all the little um, holes to thread it through but um, no it's, it's lovely and stretchy really nice material the fact it's lined means the sequins won't irritate you because that's an issue with sequin material but you do anything for beauty so it's fine um, but love this one I'm gonna go pop it on I really love the color of it so this is how it fits, and it is a very different colour to what the model was wearing. Hers one was a lot silvery, but that can be due to like photo editing and location and lighting. Um, but the actual dress, it's sort of like an unusual sort of style. The back of it, it is backless and it has like a zip going up. The darts, I don't think, show too badly the whiteness. It is quite, it's a very elegant dress. Um, yeah, I don't mind it, it's a bit short for me. Um, which I did notice, but it might be quite a nice change to falling over all my dresses because normally with floor length dresses, if they're too long for me, I'm just going to trip and fall. But um, no, I, I actually really like it. I still can't get over the silver one you just saw, but um, I definitely would wear this one. Again, I could happily wear this to a ball and people, like, I think it's still, for the price I paid, I'm still going to make a statement in it. Like, it's still pretty stunning. And I, yeah, I mean, it is similar to the photo. The photo had like all the flower patches on it, but you have to, with Wish, you have to, there's going to be variations in the dresses. But, um, blimey, this has gone well, hasn't it? I actually, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of the dresses. I think I can make them all work. So, loving these. 
that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the dresses, whether it was a success or a fail. Um, I was pretty chuffed with today's haul, I think, especially for the prices I paid. Like, I don't think it was too bad what I got. Um, but apart from that, if you guys like this video, I'll do more Wish videos. But it was just quite fun to do. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.